All right. So I have a few things I want to do with these zombies. Uh, first of all, I want to color the hats differently, and I also want to randomize a texture on them. You can easily do this with material style sheets. So the material style sheets gives Mantra some instructions what to do at render time. So through style sheets, you can override parameters, you can just set in new materials based on certain condition and etc. And to be honest, it's pretty straightforward. But let us start with the hat. So first of all, I want to create a completely different material for the hat. So I'm going to go into the material here. I'm going to do a new principal shader here. And I'm going to call this hat. And I'm going to call it this red so we can easily see what it's doing. Okay. So we have the hat and we obviously can't just add the hat to the material because we already have the zombie material. So now let's create the material style sheets override. So I'm going to click this plus here and I'm going to go to new pane tab type. Go down to inspectors and here you have this data tree. So click that and you get this. And here you have a menu and you can select material style sheets. Sweet. So now we can go to the geometry we want to create the material style sheets for. And we have the crowd here. So I'm going to select that, right click, add style sheet parameters. And uh, now we get these guys. And then I'm going to right click again and add style. And this is the override we're going to do. A style can have more than one override. But in this case, we just want to override the material. So I'm going to rename this to hat so we know which one it is and then i'm going to add an override so let's set the material here set material and then we can go and set the hat material and now the whole zombie gets red because we haven't set any conditions so now it's just going to apply it and override the previous material so let's add a target so we right click again, select add target, and uh, now it's set to primitives. Target is what level we are setting a condition. So say for this one, if I would just add a condition to this target. These are just the overall pack primitives. So in that way, I could select a point group, and then I could just select some agents here. So if I do one, two, four, for example, now the ones with that point number are going to get that color. So you understand, we are setting it on a top primitive level. But in our case, we actually want to unpack it and do something within it. So this won't do. So I'm going to delete this condition. And then I'm going to add a sub-target. And that is also primitive. And you say, okay, so we have primitive and primitive again. But the difference is, the first primitive is the pack primitives. Now the sub-targets are the primitives within that primitive. So now suddenly we can reach all the primitives within the agent. And if we add a condition to that instead, now we can set that to agent shape, for example. And I don't know if you remember this, because this was a few sessions back, but if you go into the agent setup, in this agent layer, we were adding a shape, and we'll call that shape name hat. So what we can do, we can use that name now. I'm going to star hat, and now suddenly it just targets that shape. So everything with the name hat is going to get that color. Pretty neat. Okay, so we've done this. So the next step is to randomize the texture. 